Welcome back to video number five in the series on design tips for developers. Our topic for the day is cards. And what exactly is a card? A card is a UI design pattern that groups related information in a container visually resembling a playing card. With that in mind, let's go over two tips that you can make use of for development. The first step is to reprogram your mind to think that every row in the database table does not have to be a table row in the UI. Cards are a really good substitution. Let me help you understand with this example. I'm here at the same planter website from the previous video, but this time we are on the volunteering page. The page displays a list of volunteer opportunities. We have the drive name, number of saplings to be planted, the location, the event date, who the organizer is, number of vacancies, when the opportunity was published, when it closes, and we have one more column for more details. We have our standard table with rows of information as you can see. My suggestion here is to use cards instead of a table. Here is the same page where each row in the table has now been represented by a card. We have an image which can relate to the drive, the name of the drive itself, the location, the number of vacancies, the number of saplings and the event date. The published on and closing on dates have been replaced by closing soon and new badges which are more appropriate from a user experience point of view. To account for the more column, the user will simply click on the card and navigate into the detailed view which will cover all the information, including the published date and closing date. You don't have to place a read more link on the card either. Simple, clean UI as you can see. Now I will add a caveat that this transformation of a table row into a card may not always be the right choice. If you have hundreds or thousands of rows, a table with sorting, filtering and pagination is better suited. But if it's a handful of rows with media and status fields for example, I would suggest using cards before deciding to use a table. Let's now move on to tip number two. And this relates to form radio buttons. Let's first understand the context. I'm here at a product website where the user has to select a pricing tier before proceeding. And this is a drop down. The drop down has three options. Now, the first thing is that if you have less than six choices, a radio button is always a better form control than a drop down. I've done exactly that in this next version. A radio button group readily gives me the options and the prices at a glance without me having to perform an extra click. Although this is great from a UX point of view, from a UI point of view, you can convert the radio options into small selectable cards. You can see we are able to achieve the same result but with a better UI. So my tip for you when dealing with selections outside a traditional form is to consider using cards as radio buttons. Of course, in this specific scenario, you can combine the card and the details into a better card with an action tied to it, but you probably might need the help of a designer. This, as you can see, is probably the best case scenario. So those are my two tips. Use cards instead of table rows and radio buttons. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.